वेलकम व्यूअर्स ऑन द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द म्यूजियम ऑफ इस्लामिक आर्ट हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज अमित एंड यू आर इन माई फ्लॉक शो In the previous episode I tried to give some information about the Museum of Islamic Art where I talked about the entry fee and as per the instruction I started from the gallery 1 on first floor we seen there are some ceramic plates few jewelries some greatest collection of Islamic art of different country like Morocco Syria India Pakistan and on this episode I'll try to cover the remaining ones we seen a basic blue Quran Did you know this is the one of the finest and rarest manuscript in this Islamic world Museum of Islamic Art is noted for its vast collection of Islamic art spanning 1300 years houses one of the most comprehensive collection of Islamic art in the world with masterpieces from every corner of the globe representing the diversity found in the Islamic heritage I found the Qatar Museum of Islamic Art in Doha to be pretty interesting despite the name it's not a religious institution and you don't have to be muslim to enjoy it so if you are in qatar places to visit in doha in your itinerary without fail we'll start from some astronomical collection of 15th century This treatise is on astronomy of 15th century of Ottoman period using ink opaque watercolor and gold on paper and this is ruznama the calendar scroll used to calculate the hijri calendar dates sundial inscribed in french and arabic of napoleonic period 1798 ce engraved brass and wood this qibla compass is from iran of 13th century ad and this qibla indicator and sundial also from iran of around 12th century this is a meridian compass from turkey of ottoman period This compass of Ottoman period made of Damascus steel and gold. One more Iranian qibla indicator and sundial of Khazar period. Travel and navigation across and between continents required effective knowledge and tools to determine direction and position in relation to star and constellation. The discoveries of notable medieval astronomers such as Ibn Haytham al-Biruni al-Sufyan al-Tusi and the construction of new observatories dramatically advanced the discipline of astronomy the study of astronomy and astrology was also keenly observed in royal court and the movement and the position of celestial bodies in the sky often interpreted as a guide to political decision and the timing of event manuscript of the kitab suwar al kawabi al tabita the book of fixed stars written by al sufi around 986 ad celestial globe of mughal emperor around 1677 ad from pakistan these brass discs had hundreds of uses one was navigating using the stars look along the metal ruler on the back of the astrolabe and line up with a star on the wall in front of you in different season you can see different constellation from the same place the persian astronomer al sufi was a master of the astrolabe and even wrote a book on it he observed studied and drew many constellations discovered the starry sky through his eyes we can see here the major trade route opened by the portuguese 15 to 16 century ad This dagger hilt is one of the most precious object discovered on the rack. It originally belongs to a Kerris. This chest is of 1573 AD, Mughal period from Western India, Gujarat. The third Mughal emperor Akbar expanded his growing empire to the western shores of Gujarat, gaining direct access to his lucrative parts and skilled artisans. Museum of Islamic Art carefully document all the collection using modern system maintaining the most up to date information about each object that includes tracking objects labeling objects unique accession numbers and maintaining condition of objects on view in the galleries and documenting all research conservation and photography projects The reimagining of the collection galleries introduced a comprehensive visitor trail. 
creates expanded interpretive material to help contextualize the masterwork and provides new mobile and child friendly resource to make the museum more accessible for families and young guests. The 18 galleries are organized according to broad historical and cultural themes, periods and geography and explore the great tradition of Islamic craftsmanship. Gallery 1 Embarking on a journey through the Islamic world First gallery is a journey starting point. It displays a selection of the museum's most important masterpiece and interviews some of the fascinating stories of Islamic art that can tell about the past, present and future. Gallery 2 The Quran Word and Art The Quran meaning recitation is the divine word of God in Islam. The wide range of motifs and material used to ornament manuscripts of the Quran reflects the artistic diversity of the Muslim communities across the globe. Gallery 3 shows the religious life in the Islamic world. Gallery 4 Learning in the Islamic world Learning and education are the core value in Islam. Under Muslim rule, Cities such as Baghdad, Cairo, Kolboda and Fez develop as major intellectual centers, advancing knowledge in the multiple disciplines taught in urban madrasas. Scholars from all over the Islamic world gather in such cities to participate in the intellectual development. Rulers and wealthy persons showed their interest in the learning by building libraries and madrasas and acquiring highly valued manuscripts. Both libraries and madrasas play an important role establishing learning practices and disseminating new knowledge. Gallery 5 Knowledge, Science and Technology With the spread of Islam, Arabic became the new language of science. Muslim rulers promoted scientific scholarship from the earliest century of Islam. They make significant advances in medicines, astronomy, mathematics, geography and engineering and pave the way for many scientific discoveries of modern times. Gallery 6 The Establishment of the Caliphate The rise of Islam was linked to rapid territorial expansion by tribes of the Arabian Peninsula. They formed a new empire that extended from Mecca to Spain in the west to the Indus Valley and China in the east. The objects on display in this gallery represent the artistic production of three of the most significant caliphs in Islamic history. Gallery 7 The Eastern Wall, Iran and Central Asia Muslim armies conquered Iran and much of Central Asia in the first century. Here they encountered ancient civilization that had long histories and well establishment artistic traditionals. For centuries, the region has a source of cultural trend and innovation that develop along the Silk Road trade network. Gallery 8 The Courtly Art of Al-Andalus Al-Andalus is the Arabic name of the region of Spain and Portugal that form the western border of the Islamic world. Gallery 9 The Islamic Legacy in Al-Andalus Gallery 10 The Mediterranean Sea of Exchange Gallery 11 Ayurved Syria and Mamluk Egypt Between the 6th and the 10th centuries, two dynasties dominated the Eastern Mediterranean, the Ayurved and the Mamluks. Gallery 12 Arts of Turkey and the Ottoman Provinces The Ottoman dynasty ruled over the longest standing empire in the history of the Islamic world. Founded by a Turkic tribe, the first Ottoman territories were based initially in Northeast Anatolia. It was a multicultural and multilingual empire. Gallery 13 Arms and Armor The art of warfare had held a special role in the Islamic world, essential for battle of territorial and political supremacy. It was also considered as a noble art. With the spread of Islam, weapons and tactics evolved the exposure to new technologies. They also became market of status, rank and authority. Gallery 14 Imperial Art of Iran and Central Asia 
Between the 8th and 13th centuries, Iran defined its geographic territories and expanded its political influence. Iran's dynasty heritage still influences the visual identity of Iranian art today. Gallery 15 Manuscript Making, Painting and Calligraphy Gallery 16 Imperial Arts of South Asia Contact between South Asia and the Islamic world began in 2nd century when the province of Umayyad Empire was established in Sindh in modern Pakistan. The influence of Islam became more widespread during the late 6th century when Afghan armies conquered Delhi and several regional sultanates marched across the subcontinent. Gallery 17 Sailing in Indian Ocean, Sea of Sailors and Merchants Arabs and Persian sailors had to master the monsoon winds, often crossing dangerous and uncharted waters. As experts navigation, they revolutionized sea exploration. While the overland Silk Road continued to connect Middle East to Central Asia and China, the complex and international maritime trading networks become essential for the exchange of goods and ideas for centuries. Gallery 18 Arts of Southeast Asia Through safeguarding masterpiece collection of Islamic art and showcase extraordinary exhibition, Museum of Islamic Art share the knowledge and spreading curiosity, understanding and joy. Museum of Islamic Art sheds lights on our origin to emulate our future. This is a center of knowledge and inspiration that makes the history of Islamic art and civilization relevant for today and the future. Designed by internationally renowned architecture IMP, Museum of Islamic Art Complex includes five storage main building with an adjacent education wing connected by a large central courtyard. The main building features a high dome atrium within a central tower. The cream color limestone exterior captures the changes in the light and the shade during the day. An atrius at the top of the atrium captures and reflects pattern lights within the faceted dome. The 45 meter tall window on the north side offers spectacular panoramic views across the bay. The atrium of the Museum of Islamic Art Mia Cafe. The interior is no less spectacular. A curved double stair at the center of the atrium leads up to the first floor. Above it floats an ornate circular metal candelier, echoing the curve of the staircase. Stop by for the light bites, tasty treats and the place to relax while visiting the galleries. Mia Cafe menu is regularly updated with a collection of homemade international favorites and signature creations, fresh juice, salad and hot drinks. Let's finish here today. It is very complicated to give information about this museum in 10 to 15 minutes. So, if you are in Qatar or you are a resident, plan and visit. Let's get more information that I missed to mention. Before come to this museum, do some homework with the 18 galleries. It will make you more understand each collection. See you again soon on another vlog. Till then, bye bye.